Hey, it's me. Um, I'm going to be doing another reading and um, I'm going to do this because that's what my intuition wants me to do. Um, this is about the Queen of Cups, Scorpio. Um, I want to see where her energy is at and what the messages are for her at this time. So I'm going to start with um, <clears throat> the Archangel Michael Oracle and see what he wants to say. You and your loved ones are safe. Prayer will help the situation. Write about your thoughts and feelings. And your inner guidance is real and trustworthy. Directions. I don't need enough of them as it is. Alright, um, let me show you the ones that I see. Bottom of the deck is shield yourself. Alright, um, you and your loved ones are safe. Prayer will help the situation. Write about your thoughts and feelings. And your inner guidance is real and trustworthy. Yeah, hands down, prayer will help this situation. Okay. This is the message for today, especially for the Queen of Cups. All right, let me um, move that. And I'm gonna be using the Animal Spirit Oracle to see which animals um, resonate with this reading. And basically what your spirit animal is, especially if you're um, the Queen of Cups, if you fall under the Zodiac sign. All right. Phoenix. <laughs> Interesting. Mouse. Tarantula. Sea serpent. Ooh, well reversed. Wow. It's interesting. Well reversed. So basically what I'm reading is that um, it's like you're making yourself uh, smaller than you really are. This is what I'm getting. Because it's like a lot of people are not comfortable with um, your, real, the, your real self. How big you really are. How powerful you really are. So you've had to make yourself, you've had to um, water yourself down and hide your true self because it makes a lot of people uncomfortable. Yep, that's what I'm getting. Okay. Hummingbird. Lion. Octopus. And Phoenix. Oh my goodness. Hands down, Phoenix. Yeah. Because I've seen it come up before and it's coming up again. Yeah, Phoenix. Especially for Scorpio. Yeah, you're a Phoenix. 
Okay, so um, this is your animal spirit, the phoenix. <laughs> so yeah, basically, if you're a Scorpio, you rose from the ashes. This is like the highest level that you can get in this zodiac sign. So you go from a lizard to um, an eagle to a phoenix. So there's like three different stages you go through, three different stages of transformation. So like the lower vibrational Scorpios um, are lizards. The ones in the middle are like birds, but the ones that are on top are like phoenix. They rose in the ashes. So these are very high vibrational Scorpios, the phoenixes. That's what I'm getting. Because they went through so much uh, transformation that they literally rose from the ashes and changed into the best version of themselves. That's what I'm getting. All right. Um, go the distance. Number 47. To be fair, number 38. Chop wood, number 42. Unfinished symphony, number 10. And the fates, number 17. Go the distance, number 47. Flexible, number 19. By the book, number 11. And higher power, number four. Oh my God, look at that. Bottom of the deck is the fates, number 17. Wow. All right. Let me show you the cards that came out. Go the distance. Number 47. Flexible, number 19. By the book, number 11. And higher power, number four. Hands down, higher power is what stands out to me. So that's going to be um, the card for today from um, this Oracle deck. Higher power number four. All right. So this is the Sacred Destiny Oracle. Openness is the last card that I saw. And let me go ahead and shuffle the Oracle to see um, what the images are. Relaxation. Pleasure. Wisdom. And illumination. reversed miracles happiness and the light all right bottom of the deck is illumination okay let me show you the cards that came out courage reversed Miracles, happiness, and delight. I 
I'm seeing courage reversed, but I'm also seeing happiness. Yeah, hands down, happiness is the message for today from the Sacred Destiny Oracle. And then, um, happiness. Okay. So I'm going to be using the, um, Lonely, Dream Lonely Dreamer tarot deck and see what the messages are. The sun. Oh my goodness. Look at that. The sun. Number. Number is the sun. Number 19. Okay. El Hombre. Hangman. Eight of Wands. And Nine of Wands. Yeah, it was like, there was no resistance until now. Until the Nine of Wands came out. Alright, let me do one more. Strength. So if you're Leo... This is your card. Yeah, there's some resistance still. The High Priestess. Still resistance. Seeker. Still resistance. Jeez. As soon as the nine of ones came out, the resistance started. But before that, there was no resistance. Queen of Pentacles. Here we go. All right, it stopped. Jeez. All right, uh, what do you want to say to the Queen of Cups? Eight of Cups and Knight of Pentacles. King of Wands. Eight of Wands. And then I don't know what this card is going to be, but. One of the deck is Queen of Pentacles. All right. So Six of Swords is moving on to something more peaceful. Eight of Cups is walking away. Nine of Pentacles is being cautious and moving slow. King of Wands is the King of Passion. And Eight of Wands is... Um, so then they have this very quickly. So the meaning is that um, when you choose to move on to something more peaceful, more positive, you're going to walk away from something negative. You're going to be more cautious. But you are going to do something that you're passionate about and it's going to happen very quickly. 
That's what I'm getting. Um, I'm gonna clarify the Six of Swords, Eight of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, King of Wands, and Eight of Wands. Let me show you um, the cards that came up. Six of Swords. Eight of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. King of Wands. And Eight of Wands. Alright. I'm going to clarify Six of Swords, Eight of Cups, Nine of Pentacles, King of Wands, and, six, and Eight of Wands. So. <clears throat> Look at that, Wheel of Fortune to clarify Six of Swords. Why the Eight of Cups? Nine of Cups. Why the Nine of Pentacles? The Emperor, why the King of Wands? Knight of Wands, wow. And why the Eight of Wands? Queen of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck is Page of Swords. All right, I'm gonna clarify Wheel of Fortune, Nine of Cups, the Emperor, Nine of Wands, and Queen of Pentacles. So why the Wheel of Fortune? Six of Wands. Why the Nine of Cups? The Guardian Spirit and <clears throat> the Emperor is clarified by Strength. Hmm. Why the Nine of Wands? Ace of Pentacles and why the Queen of Pentacles? Empress, oh my, what? What? Wait a minute, hang on. So you have the Emperor and the Empress in this reading? Look at that. The Emperor, number four, and the Empress, number Um, so far, I'm seeing um, Taurus, Queen of Pentacles, um, Aries, the Emperor, Leo, 
Leo with the strength card and um, Taurus and Libra with the Empress. All right, um, so all the cards are here. So I'm gonna say she, because this is about the Queen of Cups. Um, so she's moving on to something more peaceful. Things are gonna go her way. She's gonna be victorious. She's, gonna, she's going to win this. She walked away from something toxic. She will get her wishes fulfilled. She does have a lot of guardians, yeah. <laughs> a lot of guardians. So she has a lot of guardians and ancestors, archangels, angels, protecting her and watching her. Yep. <laughs> yeah, she's very protected. Um, she is very cautious. Um, she is taking back control. And um, she's very strong. Um, she is very passionate. Um, she can be impulsive, but she's intuitive. So, you know, that's where her impulse comes from, her intuition. Um, she knows that she has a new opportunity. And it's going to happen very quickly. She knows that she's very nurturing. She would make a great parent. And she knows that she's a divine feminine. Yeah. Um, she knows that. And her match is the divine masculine. And that may be why the emperor and the empress are here in this reading. Because they match. Um, what does my intuition want to say? Look at that ace of cups <laughs> yeah so my intuition wants to say that yeah she loves herself and um there's a new love coming in yep and what else oh um a reminder of uh what these oracles are saying So Archangel Michael wants to um, remind you that prayer will help the situation. And that your animal spirit is a phoenix. And to be happy. And that you have a higher power to pray to. Yeah. That's what Archangel Michael is saying. These go together. Look at that. Prayer will help the situation. And then you have number four, higher power. Look at that. Look at that. So yeah, she's saying pray to a higher power. And it will help the situation. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, so she knows that there's a higher power. She knows that. She knows a lot more than um, she's letting on. But she knows a lot of things. Yep. Um, let's see. Alright, one more message. And then I'm going to go ahead and end this reading. High priestess oh my god and the lo what the lovers bottom of the deck is the lovers so if you're Gemini this is your card that also means that um it's a choice and you have a spiritual connection with someone not everyone but someone does someone has a spiritual connection 
Um, all right, going back to the high priestess. Oh my God. So you have, what? Okay, so you have the whole family here. Look at that. You have the empress, the high priestess, and the emperor. They're all here. And that really, that mimics what I already have on display. The universal weight um, display. The empress, the high priestess, and the emperor. They're all here showing up as a family. And they're showing up again in this tarot deck. Look at that. Oh my god, look at that. They're showing up again. The empress, the high priestess, and the emperor. <laughs> exactly like that display in the back. Wow. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and um, end on this note because this is like, wow. And the Nine of Cups. And the Ace of Cups. What? And the Wheel of Fortune. Oh my God. This is like a really positive read right here. This is really positive. Like, look at all these. Showing up. The Ace of Cups, Nine of Cups, and Wheel of Fortune. Look at that. And then the family showed up as well. The Empress, the High Priestess, and the Emperor. And the, the High Priestess is basically your intuition. I mean, seriously. Like, listen to her. She's your intuition. But even more positive is the fact that this family, they're all here. The Empress, the High Priestess, and the Emperor. Oh my god. Yep. So having said all that, I hope I helped you in some way. And I will talk to you again soon.